Hello everybody, it's me, Agent Aquila, and welcome back to The War of Lost Color. In last episode, we made our way to the end, and in this episode, we'll resume. I'm actually recording this segment um, after the episode is over, just to add an intro, because this was done in, like, um, this was done as all one video originally, but I decided to split up. Anyway, on with the video. Into the end! Where is Yellow? She's right below me, okay. And you're going to find that the, the end looks very weird. We haven't seen it before, but... Ow. Jeez. But trust me, it'll look weird because of the mods we have. Okay. I think Yellow fell off, honestly. Hopefully she'll be able to teleport to me before she dies in the void. Uh, it's okay, so they teleport back. <laughs> okay. You have a heal Yellow. Okay, once this blindness effect wears off, you'll see how ridiculous the end is. We even have these special mobs in here. I guess this is the reason to come to the end, to see these mobs. Hey, I'm gonna murder you. Anyway, let's grab our stuff and we're gonna get it blind. Actually, let's see if we can, like, blow this up. Okay. I wonder if we can just hit blow them. Uh, it's obsidian, so it kind of... It invalidates it. My explosive errors are useless. Okay. Is that an Ender Creeper? I didn't even know they existed. Get burnt. Okay. We find Ender Creepers. Get off me. Of course, I'm getting attacked by everything. What's he doing? Get away from me. Okay. So he can teleport towards you, which is cool. <laughs> okay, I managed to get him away. You dropped a lot of ender barrels, <laughs> which is cool. Okay. He also dropped a charge creeper statue because he was charged. Okay, did he drop? Oh, he dropped, it's like, one of the mobs drops dark slime balls. I thought they dropped a cannonball then, and I was gonna be like, why'd they drop cannonballs? There's something messed up with a mod. I wouldn't be too surprised. Okay. A little bit lower. Actually, I think I got this one. I'm shooting at nothing. Man, there's a lot of towers. It's gonna take a while to get through this. Well, we have, we have the ability to fly. <laughs> We can just fly up and just blow them up. See if we can get some more over here. Okay, I just moved really quickly there. What happened there? Oh, it's this block. I think she moved actually fast. Ow, ow. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Probably S F to safety. <laughs> okay, we're fine. I don't know where Yellow 2 is went, but we're surrounded by mobs everywhere. Okay, just look at the floor and we should be okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see how my inventory is. Ow! Okay, we should be okay. Let's jump up here. Yeah. <laughs> We don't take fallen damage because we have the long fall boots, so we can be <laughs> kind of risky about this. No need to worry about falling. This requires some skill. I took a spy track in the end. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Wow. The end dragon looks surprisingly normal. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> Die! And the uh, crystal. I can see dudes around me. Okay. Let's jump up. Blow that up. We're doing well so far. And head our way over here to this lone tower. We need to jump, fly. And then shoot it like a madman. Okay, man, there's so many crystals to go through. This might be a two-parter, guys. I might have to split this up. That's okay. 
<laughs> Two bottles are always the best, right? Adds more suspense. Ow. Obviously the Ender Dragon isn't too much of a threat, but then again this is the old Ender Dragon, so... I suppose it never really was a threat, it was just an annoyance. Let me fly higher. I just realised I was using the wrong star. <laughs> yeah. Okay, get him while I'm blind. I missed, okay. Oh, I can just get this from down here. Easy. Okay, looks like there's only one left, and that's one way over there. Eh. Okay, we took out all the, the crystals. Let's build some speed. <laughs> Ow. They ran into me. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna do a split in a cord, I guess, since this will be too far. Tactical split in a cord in the middle of an Ender Dragon fight. <laughs> okay, so all we need is our arrows. I think it might be the explosive arrows might help. I mean, they're doing about five damage, which is pretty good. Okay, just, go look, just look at the Enders. What's going on? What is, what is that? <laughs> Whatever. Let's just fight the Ender Dragon. I'm gonna attack by everything. And you're shooting the Ender Dragon. Take that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, we'll use these speed boosts to move fast. Apparently, these provide light load, according to the mini map. Take that. Choose a Ender Arrow. It does a bit of damage to us, but you know, we survive. I can take a little bit of damage. Hopefully, yellow two's alright. I'll have to go hunt for her when we're done. I think she'll be towards where we entered this place, which is like way over there where all those Endermen are. I try not to look at them, but you know, they, they're, they're kind of everywhere. What's this over here? It's an Ender Pig. <laughs> yeah. This is probably the most interesting end I've had low. I feel like the other ends haven't been too interesting, except maybe season um, three, but. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, got Ender Pick. These guys can give you food, but we don't really need their food. They're also affected by the blocks. Okay, here comes the Ender Dragon. Like that. Get off me. Whatever you are. <laughs> Ow, jeez, they bit me. <laughs> Chomper bit me. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, my dogs are yapping, but don't worry, they shouldn't. In the middle of the corner. Right downstairs. Okay, the end of the, end of the wagon is over there. The wagon. <laughs> they got an explosive arrow. Okay, there they go. Die. Okay, I wonder, can this pull up the. No, I can't, I can't. The end of the zone is apparently very blocked, isn't it? <laughs> is this like. This is not. Okay. I'm gonna just take a few of these. <laughs> I'll show you guys what this is. This is Ender Sand. I guess that explains why I can blow it up relatively easily. Where's the Ender Dragon gone, actually? It kind of left the area. But yeah, these blocks are the opposite of Salt Sand. Let's run across this so we can see if we can find them. It seems like a lot of the mobs are thankfully neutral. Dude, where's the Ender Dragon? Okay, I can see the health bar. Well, not really. See if I change my items. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ow. Did you get a spike trap? Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Come back here, you foul creature. Okay, I need another drink of water. Who would have thought the Ender Dragon would be pretty tough actually to beat? Where are they going? Hmm. I can't remember it, but there was actually a way you could fight two Ender Dragons at once. There was no reason for it, but 
you can make these by all of them. What's that over there? What the hell is that? Uh, I'm gonna attack my spiders now. No, I'm not ready. I sword you then. I actually did quite a bit of damage with my katana, <laughs> surprisingly. I don't think the Ender Dragon has any actual defense, so... Oh, hi. The only defense I have is these guys. If I hit them, they'll just leave me alone, though. Okay, where are you, Ender Dragon? Okay, I didn't look at you, I swear. You're lying to yourselves. Okay, they're like on no health. See how much health we end up with off of this. I'm getting attacked by all these creatures. I think we're at the max health now. Yeah, we're at 60 health. We got the max health from killing the Ender Dragon because it gives all the experience. Plus, we got an extra health because it's a, a boss. Okay, get off me. It's so loud, I can't hear myself. <laughs> I'll have to quiet it down for you guys, but it's actually very loud. <laughs> and they made that weird, like, stare noise. Okay, let's click all these balls, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now we can be able to restore the color. Okay, so I just think I just have to punch this and it will move, right? Yeah, move fly. Because we need to pick it up. There we go. An end to the color loss. Now, we complete Minecraft. And just for giggles, I'm going to watch this. But I'm not going to show it on camera. So, BRB, I'll meet you guys back in the overworld. If you're wondering why I want to watch this, I want to see if this actually has like the proper credits because at the end of the poem is actually the Minecraft credits and I actually want to, see, I want to see it for giggles because I haven't seen it in a good while. So I'm just going to be just chilling here. But yeah, I'll meet you guys back in the lab since I think that's when- Oh no, I forgot my yellow too! Ah, balls. <laughs> I'll be right back. The player was used, Fungi Knight. You, you are alive. <laughs> I hope I'm alive. I hope Yellow 2 is alive when I find her. By the way, if you guys actually wanted to hear me read this, I read it in relatively fast motion during uh, the end of my season 2 of my regular survival on the 360. <laughs> ah, that was the good days. Just remember though guys, and the universe said I love you, and it said you played this game well, and the universe said everything you needed within you, and the universe said you were stronger than you know, and the universe said you were the daylight, and the universe said you were night, and the universe said that you were the dark that is inside of you, and all that good stuff. Because <laughs> the universe, you know, the universe just tells you this, apparently, I don't know why. And the universe says you're not alone. Also, I just realised this isn't even in black and white, like, what the hell? If you are the player, yes I know, wake up, I will. Once this is over. Oh, what'd you know? There is there is a Minecraft credits. I'm allowed to record this for a separate video. Hang on a moment. Several bad puns later. Okay, I'm got yellow too. I had to go all the way back to the end and get her out, but you know, we got enough. So let's go hand in these quests. And see if we can restore the colour. Who do we have to speak to? I think we have to speak to Meadow. <laughs> it's been a while. Let's actually have a look. Save so dragon for its egg. It doesn't say who to return it to. Although, uh, I think we had to return it to, yeah, to, to Meadow. You've done well, friends. Now all that's left to do is place the dragon egg upon the beacon. And the pot of go gold on the stone base. Oh, that's what that thing that we saw last time. 
was. And the colour will be restored for all of us. Okay. So I guess we just put it down. Okay. Can I interrupt with this? Yeah, it's Dragon Age Pluck. So I guess now we just have to put this over here and the colour should be restored. Because here and I haven't seen this wardrobe colour, this will be pretty cool to see this. So we just need a pot of gold. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god, the colours, they're going crazy. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, looks like it's settling down. Whoa. <laughs> Well, um, this is certainly a lot of colour. <laughs> a bit too much colour. Look at my bars, look at my inventory, it looks like it's 3D. <laughs> look at the water, jeez. <laughs> Talk about stealing the colour. This is <laughs> stealing all of the grayscale. This looks normal, I think. I suppose not everything is affected, but look at everything else, it looks <laughs> Very cool, it's like magic. Is the water changing colour? Hang on. I didn't notice that. The water is actually changing colour, look. It's amazing. <laughs> I want to see if it becomes red. Yeah, it kind of, it's getting a red tint, look. Red water. <laughs> the squids look normal. I want to see if I can find any mobs then. Where's the zombie horse? I want to see how they look. I can find them. This looks great up here. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, the zombie horse looks normal by the way. Maybe it's just the wall that's just affected, but I, I guess we'll find out next time. I'm gonna call the episode here. We've, we've done what we need to do. We have restored the color a lot of it, although the, the, the sky looks weird. It's definitely an odd looking sky. Whoa, okay, I didn't look up. <laughs> if I zoom in, it actually looks really weird. Woo! <laughs> this is really freaky. It seems like most items aren't changed. Well, I say that. It looks like my diamond stuff looks different. Let's actually throw this like against like a wall. Oh, that, that, it doesn't work like that. Well, I can drop it on the floor with Q. You can look at it. Look at it. <laughs> it's so cool. Let's actually have a look at the dragon egg. Ooh, it looks nice. The di diamonds look normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I don't know what to say, this is absolutely crazy. And the sky is just like this, like, twirl mess. <laughs> Talk about restoring the colour, we've restored way too much colour. But yeah, I guess I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you guys don't mind the rest of the series like this, because this is probably how it's going to be. But hey, you know, it's a given, we restored the colour. It makes sense. But yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. Even I'm changing colour. Look at me. <laughs> I just realised my armour. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for more of this world. We still have to defeat the colour thief, I believe. So we'll do that. We'll get started on that, I guess. And then maybe we'll be able to get back to the spongy world somehow. But yeah, until next time. Boop!